So, the 89, Jao Felix and Memphis Depay are out. We're going to need 9 squads and 8 squads. I'm going to do both of them in the same video instead of wasting your time. So, the SBC that you're going to need, of course, are the 83 plus times 10. The 80 plus player pick, if you can't see it underneath my camera. The league SBCs, if you're really desperate to, but to be honest with you, you don't actually need them. And I'll show you why in a second. And on top of that, I'm just going to have a look if anything else is available. And I don't really like the double 81 pick. The pack, I think it's awful. But the 83 plus player pick is a must add as well. And if you need team of the weeks, then obviously incorporate that into this. So we are going to go ahead and complete three of the 83 plus player picks. So let me make them and I'll be back once that's done. So the 380 plus or 83 plus player picks have been made as we get ourselves an 89, and 88, and 84. Now the higher rated cards you take, the better it's going to be for the grind and we'll explain why in a second. But you should be able to do these from the daily gold upgrade as we get ourselves an 88 as well. And our last pick, let's see what we get. And as you can see here, we've got another 88. So we'll show you what to do with those, but let's have a word from today's sponsor first. Time to upgrade your team. Head over to lootbar.gg. Best and most reliable place to buy coins. Don't forget to use code NANIC for 8% off on all your orders. Once they have made their way through, the coins will be delivered within the next 24 hours and you will be ready to improve any of your team. Like I said, the link will be down in the description and the comment section. Use code NANIC for 8% off and improve your team today. So with all three of these cards, if you've got duplicates, you want to take the highest rated when possible. And the reason being is, if you already know about the channel, you'll know why. We are going to make our way over to the exchanges. Now, a lot of these exchanges, don't get me wrong, you can put them in to Jao Felix and Memphis Depay, whichever one you're doing, or both. But if you have got low fodder, then you want to go ahead and do this to get yourself way more player picks. So we're going to get 51 players back plus two 27s together. So it's going to be 54 plus 51. So we're going to get 105 players back from those three player picks that we did, 83 pluses, which is then going to help us on to our next step. So for example, Diani can go in there. We're going to get ourselves 51 players back. And I'm going to go put Edison and Bernardo Silva in to the 88 version of this as well. And I'll be back once that's done. So Edison and Bernardo Silva have gone in, and now we've got those extra players that we needed. 100, and, what did I say? I think it was like 105 players altogether, quick maths. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the 51 players first. Now, of course, you are looking to get high fodder, but I highly recommend starting from the top to the bottom. So if you've already got high fodder, go complete which ones you can, and then start working your way down to the lower ones. So all of these three cards or two cards have gone back into our club. We can use them for later. Of course, you might not have duplicates, but if you do, that's what you should be doing with them. Now, we're going to open up a 51 one players now a couple days ago i got son and yesterday i got harlan from the player picks so it's highly worth doing just for that alone now it doesn't look like we got anything crazy out of this but it's not a problem so these 83s can go into the 83 times 10 and you can break these down into two things depending on what you want to do league sbc cards or upgrade cards or if you don't care about league sbcs these can be all upgrade cards so for example if we switch all of these over one by one by pressing a or x on each card you can find out which ones are tradable and which ones aren't. But on top of that, you are resetting the list. So when you go to make player picks, for example, you can then go ahead and put in the most recent cards. And all of these cards that you're switching over will come up first. So to save a little bit of time in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and pop up all the tradable cards up to the transfer list. And then all of the untradable ones will put into picks. And I'll show you that process now. So I'll all be back onto the pick screen once this is done. So we are on the player pick screen, the 80 plus player pick, and I've already opened 50 of those if you want to check out the channel. But if we go to newest on a acquiry date, we can have a look which cards we got. So for example, all these cards you see on the screen, we can pop in to an SBC, which is going to be the 80 plus player pick. And you, because you've got so many golds in terms of rares as well, we can basically just go on limitless with this and we can pop in as many as we want. So right there, we've got one pick. And the beautiful thing about picks, as I always say, if it is unassigned and you're stuck, you can't open packs, but picks you can. And every time we set players in, we can try and remember a couple more of these and go, okay, we can open up another one. So with this player pick, we don't get anything crazy. Unfortunately, we get an 82, which is a duplicate, so we can pop that into the unassigned as well. And that 82 can go into an 83 times 10. So essentially, what you're looking to do is complete the 83 player pick first, get as much fodder as you can to do the 83 times 10 or a team of the week pick, complete both or three of those 83 times 10, and then once you have run out of more fodder that way, don't forget we have got a new season coming on Thursday. That new season is then going to give you more packs and stuff in it, but this will get you kickstarted on your way. Now, the more picks you do, the higher rated fodder you get. Now, of course, I'm going to get a lot of questions saying, well, how do I get high rated fodder for doing the harder parts of the SBC? You're going to have to make sacrifices 
in terms of, like, say you get an 89 or higher, that card's just then got to go into one of the higher rate requirements for whichever card you're doing. Now, at the moment, our pack is, pack luck isn't crazy good, but we still got three more chances of player picks with these three rares we got. So I'm going to go ahead and build three more of those, and I'll be back. So our last player pick has been done, and our last duplicate's going in. We've got one duplicate left over, which is the 82 that we got from the first pick. I'm going to explain to you what you should be doing with that. So we're going to send Oscar back to our club. Now we've got these three picks that I've made from the rares and that that we got. And we get ourselves an 87, which can be used, again, for any SBC you want or an exchange. Let's open up our next one. What do we get out of this? 80, unfortunately. So that's going to be another 80-plus player pick. And our last one here is going to be an 83. So right away, we're going to go ahead and make one more pick for Cam. Camera. We're going to pop this 87 into an exchange and I'm going to show you what to do with this 82. So we're going to make our way back to the SBC tab. We are then going to go have a look at our exchanges and for an 87, we're going to get 19 players back, which is going to be three player picks back from that. Bearing in mind, we made those player picks from getting the 89 rated card into the exchange, gave us 51 players. We made the picks and now we got ourselves another three player picks on top of that which has been from doing more player picks. So you can kind of see right there how it happens in terms of getting the endless grind of picks. Now, we've got an 83 times 10 to do. Of course, we've got ourselves a team of the week in my club. If you don't have team of the week, you'll have to do the team of the week upgrade. But I did pack this clause tradable from one of the league SBC grinds I did or wherever I got it from, I can't remember. And then we go to gold, we go to newest. We can pop in our Inglesias, the 82 duplicate that we got. And I can pop in a load of 83s and 82s. Now, because Team of the Weeks are higher rated normally than they are, for example, we're getting much higher rated Team of the Weeks, we can actually now go ahead and pop in a lot of low rated cards. So what I mean by that is you can have a lot more 82s and 83s in these 83 times 10. You don't need to have 11 83s, for example. So hopefully when I pop all these cards in, we've got ourselves an 82 rated team. So that means I'm just one or two players short. So if I make my way back down again and I go in to add in two more 83s, that should be enough to get this complete. So as I show you here, let's swap one out. So there you go. So we got 182, 282s, 382s, 482s in, 184 team of the week, and the rest 83s. So now all we have left to deal with is our player pick, which is our camera. If you remember, we got camera as a duplicate. So we are going to go make one more 80 plus of these um, player picks here. Go into gold, go into newest, and then we can put camera in. And I've been putting in loads of commons. It doesn't really matter where they're from. I tried to keep one rare for the player pick and pop them as many commons as I have. But if you don't have commons, then go ahead and put rares in. It doesn't really matter. So now we recycled all three of those duplicates. One into the exchange, one into the 83 times 10, and another 80 plus player pick. And as you can see, those three cards go back into our club. We open up this pick. Hopefully, we don't get a duplicate. As we don't, we get another 83 that could be used for another 83 times 10. And now what we can do is send that to our club, head over to the store, and open up our 83 times 10 that we completed. And now we are starting to progress into the higher parts where you should be using the high rate of fodder. Now, with these 83 times 10s, what I recommend that you do is take like the first three highest rated cards and put them into an SBC you want and the lowest ones into something else. Now, it looks like we've got 88 Winter Wild cards or as about, and it is going to be a double walkout, I believe. So let's see who else is in this. Hopefully, it's higher rated, but you never know with these special cards. And it is going to be a gold 87. So, for example, if you are looking to do those two SBCs in particular, we can go ahead and put all these 84s and 83s into any SBC we want. These two 83s can go straight away into the 83 times 10. And then our two 87s and our 88 rated players that we got can go into any of the SBCs you want. Now, if you're not looking to do those in particular or you're still low on fodder, then you can go ahead and make your way back over to the exchange, for example. And that 88 is going to give us 27 players and the, and the 87 is going to give us 20 or 17 back together. So you can kind of see there that these are helpful for that as well. I'm not looking to complete either of them. I'm just showing you how to do it. But I'm obviously going to put these into something so I'm not stuck on the sign to do the rest of the video. And now we've got ourselves a load of 83s and 84s. Now, if you're feeling really lucky, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you are feeling really lucky, you could look at doing this mixed campaign pack and try and get high rate fodder out of that. Of course, it's a guaranteed 80, uh, 85 overall, but we did get a lot of 84s. Now, if you look in my club in terms of gold, I've got quite a lot of high rated players. So I can actually go ahead and pop in two 85s in here just for uh, test purposes for the video and see what we get. Making sure that I put all my duplicates in as well. And because we've got two 85s in this, we don't need to have a full rated 84 team. So we should be able to put one more in, and then the last three should be 83. So I believe it's Luke Shaw. I can't remember who we had now, so let me check. Newest. 
And we've got ourselves, yeah, Luke Shaw, Mancini. That's why we always swap them over one by one to always remember in the newest who we've got. Let's have a look what our rating is. 84, perfect. So we got ourselves an 85 campaign pick pack here now just to see if it's worth it. And let's have a look what we get out of this. Now, I only recommend doing that pack if you only have like 84s that you've got nothing to put them into and you are feeling lucky because 9 out of 10 times, you're going to get absolutely nothing out of it. So all three of the cards have gone back into our club. We've already packed a load of walkouts out of this already and we still got our exchange packs to open from the beginning of the video. But let's have a look what we get out of this. So it's going to be a Dynasties, I think that is, or a Trailbreakers. Is that Neymar? It's not. It's Richarlison. So that's actually a pretty good one. He is a very high rated as well. So my luck was in with that. Didn't cost much to do. 87 rated is not worth a lot. But that can go towards Jao Felix or Depay or Torres, whoever you're doing. And then you'll be able to put them into an exchange as well if you really wanted to. Now going back to our exchange again, we're going to open up one more just to show you in this video. It is possible to get high rated cards out of this if your luck's in. Worst case scenario, you're going to get an 85 like I have. And that 85 can go into any SBC you want again. Or that can go back into another exchange. So not only that, we've got ourselves at least two more player picks here because they are rare. One common that can go into a player pick as well. And an 85 to go into the exchange. So as you can already see, we are building up these picks very fast. We're building up fodder very fast. We've still got an 83 times 10 to go through. And we have got ourselves high rated fodder if we wanted to put them in. Now, depending on what your club looks like is a different situation in terms of like what you're putting where. And what I mean by that is if you've got yourself... Loads of high rated fodder, go ahead and pop them all into the SBCs you want to complete. Then start doing this method. If you don't have a lot of cards, then you're going to have to put high rated fodder in first to start building your club up. So it's all like contextual depending on what you want to do. But as you can see here, we've got ourselves our first pick. And now we just got Batshuayi and Talakafigo to go into another SBC. And we've got two more picks. So let me go ahead and complete those. And I'll be back once that's done. So the last pick has been done and we still got Laporte 85 to go into another exchange. So let's have a look what we get out of these. And our first pick is going to be an 83 that can go into the 83 times 10. And our next pick, we're going to skip it, is going to be an 80 that can go into another player pick. So you can see we're building up every single time we do it. Then we go back over to exchange and from that exchange pack we got, we got another 7 players on top of the 27 that we had or whatever it was. Which puts us up to a, like another 30 odd players back into our club. Now we can see here Laporte is going to go in. And that's going to build us more picks. And I've shown you how many packs I've got from just doing that alone in this video for about 12 minutes. Obviously the bronze packs we won't count. Or the objective packs that we've got. But if we have a look here once it updates. We can make our way over. And we've got ourselves a 7, a 19, a 27, a 27. And we had a 51 plus an 83 times 10. Plus a campaign pack or whatever you want to call it on top of that. And we're just building slowly. Now if you get any walkouts and anything else. It's always important to put them into the respectable SBC that you want. If you do have any questions, comment down below. If you want to join the Discord, it is in the description. And I will catch you in the next one.